The Dragons are ready to back the right business with their own money, but only the best will succeed. The entrepreneurs can ask the online Dragons for up to £50,000. They must be offered the full amount if they're to walk away with the backing they need. Giles Berry from Hertfordshire has brought his invention, Quick Goal, into the den. Will he be able to tempt the Dragons to invest? Hello Dragons, my name is Giles Berry from quickgold.com and I'm here to ask for £49,000 for 20% of my company. I'm a football fan, I go to the park with my son, but when we get there it's very difficult to make a goal. You put a stick down or you put a shoe or a jumper or you say it's that daisy to that buttercup, but when we're actually playing and the ball bounces over the buttercup, then we argue about whether it's a goal or not. So I thought, well, there must be millions of kids all over the world who have the same problem. So I invented some completely portable quick goal goalposts. They come in a bag, which you can carry, and it's also a backpack. They telescope up to over six feet high. They cost £11 to manufacture and bring to England. I sell them through my website for £24.95. They have a European design patent. The, um, the market for football is enormous. We play football in Britain, in Europe and all around the world. Thank you for your time. And are there any questions? Hi, Giles. Hi, Lee. I'm Shaf. Do you mind if I have a closer look at the product? Of course, okay. please, help yourself. Yeah. They are virtually indestructible. Because um, <laughs> kids will probably use them as, you know, Darth Vader one. Giles is asking the Dragons for £49,000 for a 20% share of Quick Goal. The Dragons seem curious about his portable self assembly goal posts, and Julie Meyer is keen to find out more. Hi, Giles. I'm Julie. Hi, Julie. Um, interesting. So this is primarily for children's amateur football clubs. Is, is that fair to say? Is that the target? So it's really for families. It's for children, students, university students. You see them go to the park all the time. And they get sort of like 20 guys together and they go to the park and play football. What, what, what have been the sales to date? I've sold 250 in the first three months. Okay. How much advertising did you do to sell that number? Um, I spent, um, I spent £10,000. How long has the business been running for? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. So in two and a half years, you've sold 250 units and you spent £10,000 to do that? Yes, because that was my initial um, uh, burst, only advertising magazines. I've since found out that that was a mistake and I shouldn't have done it that way. OK. How many do you have in stock at the moment? I have 2,000 in my warehouse. OK, so you have eight years' supply in your warehouse. Well, <laughs> not if we market them properly and sell them. I'm eight hoping years. to sell 500 or 1,000 a month. Right, OK. An unforgiving chef Razul is quick to berate the entrepreneur for his low sales and high stock levels. Now he wants more detailed information about the company's finances. Tell me about your balance sheet. What's on your company? If I was to sell 1,000 a month, I would be selling 24,950. No, sorry, do you, know, do you know what a balance sheet is? Uh, yes, it's... Yeah, um, what's, your, what's the state of your balance sheet at the moment? Well, it's negative. It's negative. So, at the moment, we're looking at an investment in an insolvent business. That's why you're here. Um, it's only insolvent because I'm not a businessman. It has a huge potential. It's an insolvent business. It's not worth anything. Yeah. Do you agree? Um, I guess I do, yeah. Technically, I yeah. suppose that's true. It's tough on this, isn't it? Um, my gut feeling is the only way that's going to sell, the, the, the goalposts are going to sell, 
is essentially that's a, a 1299 or a 999 retail product. Yeah, so you would have to drive down the costs of your manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it totally involves overhauling your business model. Absolutely 100%. I think I've made a lot of mistakes so far, which is why I, th I need I think help. You, I, think you, I think you have, yeah. I mean, are you sure you don't want to pay us to, to sort this out for you? Well... I mean, do you want to chuck us some free equity and Julie and I will fix it for you? How does that sound? I think it sounds brilliant. Yeah? <laughs> do you know, the, th the thing with this that, that really sort of goes me is you've got a reasonable enough product. It's okay. a very high quality product. It's, it's a good product. It is. But the business is in such a bad state at the moment. Chef Razul is sending Giles mixed messages. He clearly likes the product, yet he's completely savaged his business model. But the dragon has a plan afoot, as the entrepreneur is about to discover. I do have a strategy in my head on how to do this. I would get rid of all the stock, I would get the product manufactured cheaper, I would sign up a distributor. Sounds good. Yeah, but I mean, I would really want some serious equity for that. Serious equity. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the chance to tell me how much equity you want to give me, and I'll just say yes or no. And I want to remind you, at the moment, you have a business that is insolvent, OK? So give me a figure. Um, I mean, equal partnership would be wonderful, 50%. Do you want to reconsider? How much equity do you want to give us? Give you 75%. Yeah. 80%. Yeah. Think of the mess you're in. 90%. If we could achieve world sales, I'm very happy with 10% of that. <laughs> I think my colleague Julie might have a question for you. I'm just going to put some numbers together. Chef Razul thinks he can turn the business around, and the desperate entrepreneur is prepared to make huge concessions on the equity offer in order to keep him on board. Julie Meyer has been quietly observing the negotiations and now wants her say. What's your core skill set? Are you a marketeer? Or, you know, what, what is it, the piece of this business that you really know? What is it? Um, you know how to... I know the fans. I mean, I know fans. people are passionate about football. I know millions of people go to football every, every year in Britain and around the world. Is that the role that you see yourself playing in this business, is to communicate the football story, that you're enabling people to play proper football out there on the field because they got something proper to kick the football through. Is that... And you want to be the evangelist? Is that it? I don't know. It sounds a bit corny, but <laughs> I kind of like the idea that I can see the kids all around the world playing with this product and actually having a really good game of football in the park. Yep. I mean, I know what it was like for me and my son, mm -hmm. and I honestly believe that... I think it would be a benefit to all the kids to be able to go out and have a really good game of football, whether it's in the park, on the beach, wherever it be. I think, it, does it, is it good for the world to, for this to be successful? Yes, it is. And I sense that you're going to pursue it. But I need to have that confidence in the way you think and approach the business. And I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't got it after this discussion. Um, and so for those reasons, I'm afraid I'm out. OK, thank you. Julie Meyer has been driven away from the opportunity, unconvinced by Giles's approach to the business. His only chance for investment now lies with Chef Razul, who is in no mood for compromise. Giles, to be honest with you, the whole thing is a mess. Okay, I mean, a few minutes ago we were talking about equity, and you were talking about, you know, I'll give you ninety percent. And do you know something? Even at ninety percent, I still think it's a mess. And I really don't want to ask you for any more equity than that. Because, you know, if I come in, I'm always been an administrator for your business or a receiver. Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to get my head around how I can structure a deal, but I can't structure a deal without absolutely taking advantage of you. And I'm not here to do that. Okay? So, on that basis, 